I am not interested in KBAC's property or whatsoever he has. I am only interested in bearing kids for my king and having a royal bond and a forever with him. So whatever you people might think, I don't know what other Oloris might be after, but I am only after KBAC's heart. Auntie Calabash allegedly spoke to the public as uh, Reverend Ajayi questioned her before her audience in Abuja. Welcome to my channel once more. It is a girl live just plus. I am here again with hot and spicy news. <laughs> this news you go like um sit down make I tutor you with this wonderful news. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. You are really missing and to my Returning subscribers, you guys are welcome. Thank you for your support, for your comments. Thank you. So, we remember the rumor where we heard uh, Auntie Calabash traveled all the way to Abuja. Of course, she didn't know when Naomi was coming. You know, in one of the commenters uh, that commented, the person said, uh, how did Auntie Calabash know that... Uh, uh, uh kbac went to abuja to see dr uh, Le reverend ajayi <laughs> and i laughed how would you ask such a question my beautiful angel how will you even ask such a question don't you know the power that this woman possess auntie kalabash has powers she can see read larry if she wants to see what is happening if she wants to track kbc if she wants to monitor she will definitely monitor KBC and know where KBC stays. Don't underestimate the juju powers of these women. They have. So who knows if she has tracked her KBC, you know, and knew that KBC. Because obviously she doesn't want to do it in a lay fair. She doesn't want to kneel down before KBC in a lay fair as he, she might be caught by one or two people. They will now say, oh, you that will come and form strong woman in the presence of the people. You will not let KBAC be. You will be forming strong. And now you are the same person that is kneeling down before KBAC, begging in the secret. Now, Reverend, uh, they said Reverend Esther Ajayi told her, according to what we heard, as it is rumored, not be me talking. I was not there. I was not in Abuja. Ask her, okay, why do you come in the presence of people and act strong woman? Why at the opposite in the back you are pleading? Why will you come inside, outside, disgrace KBAC outside, in the presence of people, humiliate him, and you now come inside to come and uh, plead for mercy? You now come inside to come and, uh, and, and be, uh, behave like a good person, that it doesn't work that way. That if really you are truly sorry of what you did, in that same public that you, you, you disgraced and humiliated the king, that is where you will come and apologize my people that if you really love him if not because of whatever thing you might have in your mind that what he she is seeing according to what they said esther ajayi told her that what she is saying is that she doesn't really love her for love kabisi for the loving skirt that he she has another thing in his in her mind that she is after kabisi's money yes they said she told her to her face. She told Auntie Calabash to her face that you are really after Kabiesi's properties. And that is why there was a time it's rumored that uh, Auntie Calabash is planning to lure Kabiesi to bed just to, you know, to have uh, kids. They said, Esther, according to what we heard, that Esther Ajayi told her that, that she is already planning to lure Kabiesi to bed that she will confirm that what she's saying is true that she cannot deny it that she wants to look at basically just to get children and just the children for so that she can through the children get some properties from kbc because she is so envious of tadenikawo of all the things that kbc is willing to tadenikawo that now she is after kbc's wealth and that's why ever since she heard that uh, they are going to be divorced, she started uh, planning. She has been making that plan and waiting for the day she will accomplish it. She has been planning to have KBAC led 
and get the babies she wants and now decide to gallant with the babies and claim any property she wants to claim. They said when Esther Jai said this, Kabiesi opened his mouth in widest shock. That Kabiesi was really shocked that he never expected to even hear that kind of thing. That Auntie Kalabach is planning to lure him to bed. Now, I don't know how he, she is going to achieve this. So, I don't know how she's going to achieve this. If actually this thing that she even try at all, or maybe she has been trying, or she will still try. But I'm thinking, how will she, does she even think she's going to achieve it? When, first of all, they have stopped them from coming inside the palace without KBS's consent. If they must come inside the palace, KBS will know that they are coming. KBS will prepare for them. And they don't take food from KBS anymore. They don't go into KBS's inner chambers anymore. So how is she planning to achieve this? Well, I don't know. If you ask me, now who I go ask? But the most important thing now is that... Uh, the, the, the hidden agenda she has has already been revealed. They said, as say, Aunt Esther, Ajayi said all these things finished. That Auntie Kalaba said that over her my body that she would think all these things. That she is only after Kabi AC, having kids with Kabi AC to for their bond to be, for the royal bond to be bonded well. That, it, that she is planning to have kids for Kabi AC is not because of the wealth is not because of kbs's properties or investments that it is because she wants to have kids to have a royal bonding with kbs so my people i now ask do you really think that this thing she's saying is true or you is she is just a uh, lying because it's obviously that she is lying she cannot say uh, she wants to uh, bond with kbs and she is doing all those things, disrespecting KBAC, doing anyhow in KBAC, in the presence of people. Which means she has another, what, maybe whatever uh, Auntie uh, Esther, Esther Ajayi said is true. Because someone that really wants to bond with someone will not be disrespecting. At least she would all, always find a way to, to see that both of them get, you know, there is peace. But this one that she's coming with a, a fight, she's coming with war. She's now saying she wants to bond. What, see, to me, my opinion, if any, if all these informations are true, it means that uh, it is true that uh, she is coming, she's planning for that, so that to get kids, to get uh, properties from KBAC, due to Tade Nikawo has been taking up everything. Uh, even anti-beauty children has not even gotten anything. We've not heard that they have gotten anything at all from KBAC because they have not been verified. So that is why she doesn't want to do her own anyhow because she has already seen how anti beauty own is going. So she wants to get it direct from KBAC. That is why she's having that plan. Any of them that is planning to have children now, uh, this now that this divorce case is on, all of any of them they are having it because of uh, because of the properties they are going to get from KBAC. There is no two ways about it. Now I ask my wonderful audience: Do you now think? Uh, what she said is true that the reason why she is a uh, she, she's planning to have kids for Kabi is, is, is for the royal bonds to be stronger or do we think that uh, she is doing that because of the properties she's going to get from Kabi AC? drop your comments on the comment section i'll be waiting for your comments your wise comments you guys are so wonderful drop your comments and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and do not forget that all these are alleged information Please stay on the line because I'll be bringing you more updates on this. Thank you.